Hello, um, Megan here, and I wanted to do a quick video about the horse divination that I do. Um, I've had some questions lately from clients who would like to do it, and this might be a easy way to uh, describe what typically happens in a, a session with the horse divination. So, the process goes as follows. Um, we start in the teepee with um, an opening invocation. We invoke God and the higher souls and all the great beings, all the holy ones, our ancestors and the ancestors of the sacred land and of course the ancestors of the horses and the higher souls of the horses. And once we plug in, the magic begins to happen and I don't wanna to give too many details, but uh, basically the horse divination what it boils down to is a lot of people are finding um, the energy healing is extremely powerful that's coming through the horses and then I also do pranic energy healing as needed during the session. Um, also what happens is people are um, finding that the horses are reflecting things um, going to their deepest issues, reflecting things to them that can help them move forward. Mostly it has to do with their life's purpose, which is really cool. So, or, or removing any blockages um, or receiving any teachings that will help them get to that place uh, for their um, spiritual advancement. So it's a technique that um, is much like a living, breathing tarot card reading and a powerful meditation and also um, higher soul guidance all wrapped into one. Um, the horses are really responding to the magic. Miracles are happening out there. Um, I have loads of stories. I really need to write a book soon about the magic and the miracles that are happening out there. So um, you won't be disappointed and you'll walk away with tools um, quite a bit of healing and um, belief in magic and miracles again. So I uh, hope this helps and um, I look forward to meeting you and so do the horses. Much love from Sedona Sacred Rocks in Sedona, Arizona. Much love to you. Atma Namaste.